Hey guys, just got to Buck Row. Normally I don't fish at night, but I'm in an odd situation. I went scuba diving today just to get certified. Eventually I'm gonna, actually, yeah, eventually I'm gonna do spear fishing on my channel. I don't know when, but that's the goal. That's what I did. So after scuba diving today, I drove over to Buck Row. Now I'm just packing up, trying to try out this pier. Ooh, looks like I hooked myself here. But yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna turn back the camera on when I get out there. All right, once you get here, this is the parking lot. It's a little dark, but that's the stairs to get up, but I have a cart, so I went this way to get up the ramp. Check out that moon. And I was not expecting this much people at night too. So a lot, a lot of people. Check it out, guys. He was fishing down at the end on fish bites, you yeah, said you yeah, were? Yeah. Fit, bloodworm fish bites. Your yeah, bloodworm fish bites, yeah. Looks like that guy in the orange rod is on something. All right, guys, before I start fishing, I want to say thank you, Troy, for allowing me to get on the pier for free and actually getting bait for free, too. Troy actually works at this pier. And um, yeah, thanks again for giving me the opportunity to fish here. Just hooked up on something here, guys. Not sure what it is. Probably another blue. Is this blue? Oh no, it's a trout. Speckle. Got a speck. Too small though. It's probably like 10. Oh, there we go. Let's let this guy go. Catch a bigger one. Yeah. Got something on the plug, guys. It looks like a mackerel or a bluefish. No, it's a bluefish. Oh, yeah. Nice blue. That's a blue. Yeah. He knew that bite. I think that rod is. Yeah, we're on something on that one. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's tightening that drag up. It's probably a spot. Oh, no. Feels pretty big. Can't be a spot. We'll see though. Oh, it looks like a croaker or something. Oh no, it's a jumbo spot. Look at this croc for comparison. That's a really big spot. I think I got something here, guys. Feels small though. What is this? It's a. Dun, 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 dun. Sand perch, I think. Yeah, I might cut this guy up, honestly. Yeah, I might cut him up. Seems like lugworm is working better than fish bites. I've been letting it soak for like 15 minutes and no bites, but once I put the lugworms on, these guys are biting real quick. So let's see if I can get a bite for you guys here. Nibble, 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 nibble. There, it got him. Just like that. It's probably a spot. Let's see. Nope, not a spot. What is this? Looks like a grunt. Is this a grunt? Yeah. It's making that grunt noise. You guys hear that? Hawkfish. Whatever you like to call them. Pigfish. Hooked on something here, guys. Looks like another trout. Yeah, hopefully this one's keeper. It looks bigger. Oh, that's a big shark. You see it? Right there. There's a shadow of it. You see it? It's a shadow right there. Yeah, I started using a casting spoon now. Let's see this guy's big enough. Nope, too small. Oh no, what is this? A puffer fish. <laughs> That's not what we want. <laughs> oh, he got a lot of water out of it. <laughs> wow. It's a puffer. Hope, so, no, is this a trout? Is this is a trout. Another trout. Third trout. Hopefully he's big enough. Uh, probably 12. I don't think he's big enough. Let's measure this guy for fun. 
start right here. Yep, 11 and a half. Oh, almost 12, 12. If it is a weak fish, you probably keep him. Just changed it out to a sabiki, hooked up something here. What is this? Another sand perch. All right, just rebaited sabiki. Gotta show you guys live what I do here. Oh look, there's a crab. That full moon, they like that. There we go. Oh. Jig, 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 guys. Doubled up. Oh no, one, one of them let go. It's a sea bass. A small sea bass. I'll let him go. Catching all species. There he goes. Sand perch, hey, you're not keeping him, I'll take him. This one looking pretty big. Looking juicy. I'll take it, <laughs> off. I'll take it off of you. There we go. Appreciate you. Yep. Oh, it's a sea bass. Pretty big. You want to cut this one up? No, you do. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's not a whole lot of meat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, this one feels much bigger. Oh, that's a big one. What is this? Oh, it's, it's a trout. Croc for reference. This guy's probably on 10 on the dot. All right, there we go. Let's get him out. I don't want to get spiked by him. All right, let's get him back. Let's try to get a bigger one. Scare all the fish right here. Boom. Hooked up here, guys. Hopefully he stays on. Let's see what it is. Pretty big. This is a speckled trout. Another small speck. Mm -hmm. It's probably 10 inches, but it's super skinny. Let's get him out of here. Speckles have to be 14 here. And then I think weak fish is like 12. Let's get him. There he goes. Something's on here. Something's in this rod too. Yeah, you see that? It's probably crab or something. Oh, it's on, it's on, it's on. At least I think so. Let's see. Yeah, we're on. I have a cut, cut sand perch on this one, so. So looks like a grunt. A grunt ate it. Grunt, and what is this? Sand perch. Just got a spot and a sand perch off camera here. That's what I got so far. Not much. Oh, came off. Got something on my cut bait rod right here. What is this? No idea what this. Is this a pinfish? I think it's a pinfish. Haven't seen this guy in a while. Oh, steady now. A big pinfish. Let's get this guy off here. Big old pinfish. All right, let's discuss the tides I fish. So I came here Saturday night around 7 p.m. So that's around the low. And then the, I got the uh, minor period right here as well. You see one fish sign here means average activity. Fish to like 3 a.m. or something like that. A lot of people were catching spot like you saw in my intro. As for the solar activity, it was one, two, three, three days after the full moon. Coefficient 74 is high. Again, average fish activity. And like I said, I did catch part of the minor period right here. 
All right, let's look at the second day. I came here at, in the afternoon or evening around 3.30 during a slack tide right here. I think I caught the major period as well, of course. Um, this shows two fish signs, which is high fish activity. This is when I was catching trout and bluefish. And yeah, like right here, major period right here, 2.59 p.m. to 4.56 p.m. All right, if you wanna fish here, you can go ahead and put in Buck Row Fishing Pier or James T. Wilson Fishing Pier. They're both the same thing. It was formerly known as Buck Row. They changed it after being renovated and fixed. As for parking, you can park here for free. And yeah, that's basically it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next video. Remember to smash that like button, give us a comment, and subscribe. Everything I use is under the description below, so check that out as well.